What's happening, everybody? Happy Friday. You know, we're here to talk some business. I'm your man, Dame DNYDC, host of Two Mics Up. And as you can see by the scroll at the bottom, you can follow Two Mics Up across all our social media online at, you know, IG, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Two Mics Up. And, you know, while you're here, you know, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. Go ahead, go down there and hit that bell so that you can be notified you know, buy from two mics up for all the newest content that I'm bringing to you. Make sure you go ahead and leave me a comment. You know, I want to hear what you have to say, good, bad, or indifferent. And if there's a specific, you know, business topic, maybe that you would like to hear me talk about, or you something you want to hear, shoot me a DM or an email over to two mics up, and we'll do our best to go ahead and bring that conversation, you know, to you here on our platform. Now, with all of that being said, you know, and, and housekeeping being done, you know, today. I want to sit down and talk about the importance of business ethics. I think that's something that, you know, we we sometimes kind of lose, I, I think, um, and all of the other fancy or sometimes to, to some people maybe more important uh, aspects of business. Uh, and I really wanted to talk about this because, you know, business ethics, you know, that refers to, you know, your moral principles. You know, those are the values that that really guide, you know, the behavior and decision making processes most times within an organization. Now, it encompasses a wide range of issues, you know, including things such as honesty, you know, integrity, uh, fairness. You can touch on, you know, talking about the transparency and overall, I think that the social responsibility. Right. In today's complex and interconnected business world, maintaining high ethical standards is really of paramount importance, you know? And this discussion, you know, I'm going to try to explore some of the reasons why business ethics are crucial for your organization and our society as a whole, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and, and, and really dive into this. You know, and the first area that I want to touch on is this, you know, building trust, you know, and reputation. I think it's not even I think, you know, I, re I really believe that trust is the foundation of any successful business relationship, right? Ethical behavior fosters trust among stakeholders, you know, including customers, you know, your employees, uh, investors, and really the wider community at large. When businesses act ethically, you know, they can really demonstrate their commitment to doing what is right. You know, it really goes about be, really showing what's right and what's fair. You know, I really want to add that piece because I think fair is a really important piece to add to that. You know, this builds a positive rep reputation that can enhance customer loyalty, right? It attracts talented employees and it really brings about, you know, and attracts investment opportunities for you and your business. Now, conversely, Unethical behavior can really quickly erode trust and damage, you know, to a company's reputation, you know, and it really can lead to significant financial and operational consequences. So, you know, we really want to build on that trust. You know, it really can help heighten and highlight, you know, your business reputation. And sometimes it can speak for you. And then on the flip side, you know, if you just have bad unethical behavior, man, I mean, you're going in the blink of an eye, you know, and I, I just think it's important to, to put that out there, you know, for small business owners and business owners, you know, in general. Now, another part or the second part, really, to the importance of business ethics is, you know, you want to ensure that there's fair competition. I say that because, you know, ethics really plays a vital role in promoting fair competition within industries, right? So by adhering to ethical practices, businesses really ensure that they compete on a level playing field based on merit rather than resorting to unfair tactics 
or really exploiting loopholes. Ethical conduct, excuse me, ethical conduct prevents anti-competitive behaviors such as price fixing, collusion, or misleading advertising. Fair competition not only benefits the consumer by providing them with choice or choices, but it also encourages innovation and efficiency within industries and across industry. So that, that's huge. You know, you want to make sure that you all and we all have a fair and competitive opportunity, uh, you know, when building our business, you know, in any industry and, I, and ethical practices really, I think, are, are part of that foundation, you know, and it really is built and based on merit. And you don't want to have to try to go through some type of unfair tactic or trying to exploit another company or companies through some type of loophole. So keep that in mind. The third piece I want to talk about, you know, when it comes to the importance of business ethics is really enhancing your employee morale and pro productivity. I mean, it, this part, I think, is, is huge. And the reason why I say that, you and I know, employees are the backbone of any organization. And their well-being is really tied, you know, to the ethical practices within the workplace. Now, when businesses prioritize ethics, they create a positive work environment that fosters employee morale, the engagement, and loyalty. You know, that is your backbone of any successful company, right? Ethical companies treat their employees fairly. I think that, that you know, can be said. And, and I think we've seen it, you know, through other countries and other companies, not countries, excuse me, and examples, right? You know, Amazon was one and I, I think still is. You know, a lot of people, you know, just loved, you know, what was going on, you know, and when I say that these ethical companies treated their employees fairly, they created equal opportunities, you know, for growth and development. And overall, they maintained a safe work condition, you know, for their employees. These practices resulted in a higher job satisfaction level. It helped increase their productivity. There was less turnover rates. And the key was they improved overall organizational performance. So figure out ways that you and your business, if you have staff, is to create that positive work environment, that positive bubble that, you know, when your employees come to work, their morale is up, their engagement across teams and within teams, you know, management and upper management is good, is cohesive. And then you, you'll find, you know, you, you'll have that loyalty, you know, and I think that's really important. And that get lost uh, in the source a lot of times, you know, when we're looking at you know, the bottom line or a figure and, you know, our employees get lost in that. They're the ones that's helping you meet and reach that bottom line. So I think we have to step back and, and think about when we were in their shoes and how can we give back and how can we help make the situation in, in the environment as positive for them to be as best they can be for you in return. Right. The next piece I want to talk about, the fourth piece is really a, uh, you know, important, you know, when it comes to bus business eth ethics, if you will, is mitigating legal and financial risk. Now, unethical behavior can expose businesses to see, I mean, <laughs> I I'm stuttering here because, you know, I, I think of a couple of things you read in the news, but, you know, this unethical behavior can expose your business to significant legal and financial risk. You know, violation of laws, regulations, industry standards, can lead to costly lawsuits, fines, and really at the end of the day, you've damaged your company's bottom line. Now, by adhering to ethical practices, businesses can minimize the likelihood of any type of legal dispute and or regulatory penalties. Moreover, ethical conduct reduces the risk of reputational damage. And you don't want that because reputational damage can result in lost customers, decrease sales and diminish market value. And you put in way too much work and time and energy and effort in your business, you know, by really going and, and, and relying on unethical practices because man, it can really, at the end of the day, it can really destroy you and your business. So do your best to mitigate any type of legal or financial risk. 
the last piece I want to talk about, you know, in today's conversation about the importance of business ethics is, you know, how it, it, it could, how it really gives a, the contribution, if you will, to social responsibility. And I say that because I really believe businesses and as a business owner, we all have a responsibility to contribute positively to our society and to the environment as well. You know, ethical behavior, you know, involves considering the impact of, you know, my business activities, your business activities, and how it impacts our, you know, various stakeholders if you have them, you know, which includes your local community, the environment, and, and really to even take it one step further, it's the impact on our future generations that are coming behind us. Embracing social responsibility initiatives such as sustainable practices, philanthropy, um, eth and ethical social sourcing not only benefits society, but it also enhances a company's reputation and long-term visibility. I say that because, you know, how, how do you continue to maintain a footing? And how do you benefit, you know, long-term? You know, your reputation precedes you a lot of times. And if you're contributing to, you know, positively to our society and our environment, I think you're setting yourself up for that long term because now you're being, you know, you're, you're you know, being a, an asset, if you will. And I think those are really important. And I'm going to throw in a business, you know, uh, uh, another tip or another one that, you know, I was going, I wasn't going to talk about, but I think it's important because we were just talking about, you know, your long-term viability and your long-term success is really how do you foster long-term success, okay? Sustainable success is built on a foundation of strong ethical principles. Businesses that prioritize ethics are more likely to establish enduring relationships with customers, their suppliers, their employees, and investors. Ethical behavior creates a culture of trust and integrity that attracts loyal customers and fosters long-term partnerships. Furthermore, ethical companies are better equipped. You know, they're just better equipped to navigate crises or challenging, you know, situations, you know, by relying on their established reputation and their stakeholder support. So, you know, in conclusion, if you can go ahead and, and use and integrate these tips that I've shared to you about the importance of biz business ethics, you know, I think that'd be great because remember, business ethics really play a crucial role in shaping the success and sustainability of your organization. You know, by adhering to some of these tips and ethical principles, if you will, businesses can build, you know, trust amongst their stakeholders. They can ensure, you know, fair competition. They can enhance their employee morale and productivity. They can mitigate legal and financial risks. They can contribute to social responsibility and really foster long-term success. Embracing ethics is not only the right thing to do, but it's also a strategic imperative for organizations operating in today's complex business landscape. So ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Please make sure to go ahead and, like I said before, integrate them into your business. Figure out where you can improve. And as always, you know, you can reach out and follow, you know, Two Mics Up online, IG, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, at Two Mics Up. I'm your humble host, Damon Cunningham. You can follow me across social media at Dame, D -N -Y -D -C. IG, Facebook, and Twitter. And like I said, if you have some topics that you would like for me to discuss or share, go ahead and send me an email. If you're interested in enhancing your business development and growth or your personal growth, check me out. You know, I'm presenting and, and offering some forums and some online classes. Some are free, some you have to pay for. But I think they're worth it if you're really looking to invest in yourself. Okay? So like we always do at the end of each and every episode and each and every conversation, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. 
May you stay safe, stay blessed. Mike Seven. Double O Seven.